We are in the heart of grilling season. A lot of us, I know, we grill multiple times a week. Yeah, but during the grilling process, harmful substances can form that could be a little bit dangerous to your health. That's true. This morning, Sue Moores, though, from Kowalski's Markets, shows us some techniques to keep your family's food safe. It's that summertime sizzle we crave all year, but charring meat over an open flame can produce cancer-causing substances. So they change sort of the DNA in our cells and can make cells less healthy, potentially tripping the trigger for cancer. And it's summertime in Minnesota and we love to grill. I have a feeling a lot of our viewers do grill more than once a week. So what can they do to make sure that they're being safe? The first thing is how long and how high that heat is. Some of these have spent a fair amount of time on the grill and they've gotten charred and that's a clear indication that you've got some harmful substances that are on your meat. So just by clearing off, you know, just literally scraping some of that excess sort of black area, yeah. we'll get rid of the harmful substances that are on there. Sue says flip your meat often to avoid char and the utensil you use matters. Right. And using tongs instead of something like a fork to pierce it, but when you pierce it, the juices come out, it makes the flames come up, it makes the smoke come up. Another way to protect your meat, create a barrier. Something like a wood plank, cooking meat or fish on a wood plank, putting it on your grill and using that as a way to sort of form that barrier. Or something like a aluminum tray. Could get these nice grill marks on there right out of the chute okay. and then transfer it to an aluminum tray so that the balance of the cooking the full cooking through is done on that tray. And again, okay. you miss the flames kicking up and the smoke getting around it. It also helps keep your grill cleaner, too, which kind of serves a dual purpose. Finally, cut down the grill time by choosing a smaller cut. If you move to a kebab yeah. to cook, that's going to cook a lot faster than a steak this big. And it's thin. It cooks in a fraction of the time. So that's a bonus, too. You can eat faster. <laughs>